Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Deep Learning with Keras. In this introductory video, we are going to learn about Keras library and then install Keras on Anaconda Python environment. Let's begin the session. What is Keras in fact? Keras is a high-level neural networks API written in Python and capable of running on top of TensorFlow or Theano. It was developed with a focus on enabling fast experimentation. It runs seamlessly on both CPU and GPU. Keras supports feed-forward neural networks, convolutional and recurrent networks. We can even combine them to build more complex models. Keras is very much uh, expressive and flexible, so we can use them as per our requirements. In fact, they are appropriate for innovative research. Keras is completely Python-based framework, so it is very easy to debug and explore. There are many deep learning frameworks available today. In this section, we are going to focus on the reasons behind choosing the Keras framework. Keras is an API designed for human beings, not for machines. It offers consistent and simple APIs that minimizes the number of user actions required for common use cases and it provides clear and actionable feedback upon user error. Keras has stronger adaptation in both the industry and the research community. It is in use at Netflix, Uber, Yelp, ZogDoc, and many others. It is especially popular among startups that place deep learning at the core of their products. Keras has also been adopted by researchers at large scientific organizations like NASA. Keras models can be easily deployed across a greater range of platforms like iOS, Android, Google Cloud, or even on Raspberry Pi. Keras models can be developed with a range of different deep learning backends. Importantly, we can train a model with one backend and load it with another. Keras successfully works on top of TensorFlow, Theano, and Cyantec. Keras supports multi GPU and distributed training. According to KD Nuggets poll, Keras is one of the rapid growing data analysis and machine learning tool. From this graph, it is clear that demand of deep learning is increasing along with TensorFlow and Keras. In this specific section, I will guide you to install Keras on Anaconda Python. In the first step, we are going to download and install latest version of Anaconda on Windows 10 machine. To do so, we will go to the official page of Anaconda. It will help us to land on the download page. So this is the download page of Anaconda. My computer is a 64-bit machine. So I will go for the option 64-bit graphical installer. I'm pressing it. It will take few minutes to download. I will resume after finishing the download. The download has finished. Now we will go to the file location. In my machine it will be stored in a downloads folder. So this is the Anaconda exe file for 64-bit machine. Let's go ahead and run this one. The installation will start with this welcome page. Press next to continue. I agree all the terms and conditions. I will install this Anaconda in all my users. To do so, we will check all user option and we need administrative privilege to do this. So I'm pressing next. I will go with the default location. This register Anaconda as the system Python 3.7 
will allow other programs to automatically detect Anaconda. I will also go with this one. It will add Anaconda to the system path environment. Then press install and it will start installation. This installation will take few minutes. So we will resume after completion. The installation process is done. So I will press next, then next. I will uncheck these two and press finish to complete the installation process. Now we will go to the Anaconda prompt. So just need to write Anaconda. I have to open this. So this is our Anaconda prompt. Now we will check our available Python version in Anaconda. To do so, we have to just write Python version. Python 3.7.4 version is available in my Anaconda environment. Now we will go to the Anaconda navigator and explore it. Now I will go to the Anaconda Navigator. I will run this one. So this is our Anaconda Navigator. The first one is Home, then Environment. From this environment, we can know the number of install packages. In current situation, we have only one environment, the base one. In Home, we have Spider. Jupyter Lab applications and those are already available in my Anaconda environment. We can even install more applications just pressing this install button. I am returning to the installation process. In the second step we will create a new Conda environment. To do this operation we need the administrative privileges. So I will open a new Anaconda prompt then right click on it and run as administrator. Now we will create a new environment Deep Keras. It is always a good idea to assign an unique name and that will help us to identify different environments. To create a new environment we have to write Conda create name then name of the environment in our case it's deep keras so we will proceed with y is done so we have created our environment successfully now we have to activate this one so it's pretty simple we have to use just a activate then name of the environment. You can see we are now in the new environment Deep Keras. Now going to the third step. In this step we will install Keras. I am going to Anaconda prompt and continue with the code Conda install and see Anaconda Keras. So it is saying that we have to install these packages. So we are proceeding Y to continue. So first it will download, then install the packages on our new environment. It will take some time, so we will resume after finishing the installation. The Keras installation is done. So till now we have installed Anaconda on Windows 10 machine then we have created a new environment Deep Keras and activated that then we have installed Keras in the same environment as this Deep Keras is a new environment some tools and uh, libraries won't be available with it that's why we need to install them first we will install spider and Jupyter tool so we will use the simple command conda install spider conda install so we will proceed with y so it's installing 
the required packages. So it's done. Now we will install Jupyter. So instead of spider, it will be Jupyter. So we will proceed. This conda command is uh, similar to the pip command we used in our system. So the installation of Jupyter is finished. Now we will install the important libraries pandas and uh, matplotlib. So first we will install pandas. So we will use the same command conda install pandas. Again we will proceed. So it completed preparing, verifying and executing steps. And finally we will install matplotlib libraries. So we have installed Jupyter, Spider, then Python libraries, Pandas and Matplotlib. Now our Keras is ready for testing. So before that we will go to the Anaconda Navigator in the Environment tab. Now we have two environments. The previously it was only the base environment. Now we have the Keras environment. So these all are the installed packages available in my environment. Now I will go to the home and uh, change the environments. We have already installed Jupyter Notebook and Spider in our new Deep Keras environment. Now I will launch Spider. First I will try to import Keras using uh, import Keras. If Keras is installed properly, it won't provide any error. It has imported Keras without any error using TensorFlow as backend. Let's import few more modules uh, from Keras library from keras.datasets import mnist from Keras dot models import sequential. Now I'm going to run this two statement. So they are working perfectly. Now my Keras is ready for deep learning jobs. Let's return to the presentation. So that's all for today. See you on the next video tutorial.